Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about two types of social media lifting assholes you need to avoid. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. Before I dive in, if you need coaching, check out the link below. Fat loss, power building, strength building, muscle building, all that kind of good stuff. No cookie cutter bullshit. All right. Two types of social media lifting assholes you need to avoid. One comes from the strength training uh, realm of things. This could be bodybuilding or powerlifting or just general strength training. And one comes from the super ripped, but I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about camp. I'll dive into the, um, the strength end of things first. This happened this morning on a group. Um, I'm not going to mention which one because it doesn't matter. But a lifter was deadlifting and his back was pretty much parallel to the ground when he was yanking the bar off the ground. Now to anybody that teaches a deadlift or understands the mechanics of the deadlift, it's obvious what's going on here. The dude needs to get seated on his heels a little bit more, get, needs to get his ass and hips down, and needs to pull from a better leverage position. Simply put, the lifter didn't know how to execute the lift properly and was going to jack his shit up. Now, what you see on the internet, there are guys that can lift, that can deadlift, in this case, 500 pounds plus, bench a lot of weight, squat a lot of weight. Here's the point. There is a difference between being able to execute a strength lift, okay? There's a difference between being able to execute something and, and being able to teach it or to understand how to correct it. Somebody came on this again. This lifter's, you know, back was nearly parallel to the ground. Somebody came into the group and was saying, you know, it's okay to have your upper back running, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, he was whipping out his balls and saying that he deadlifted 500 pounds. And and basically, anybody that didn't deadlift 500 pounds doesn't have a a leg to stand on when it comes to coaching. The problem is this internet asshole, this social media asshole is able to execute a 500 pound deadlift. He's able to execute strength. He's able to showcase his strength, but he has no idea what proper form, what proper mechanics are, how to set up the deadlift for other people, how to, how to fix deadlift form. And uh, all he's going to do is run his his big fat mouth and look like an asshole. So this this is something you see quite con quite often in social media. Somebody that can do something, somebody that can execute a lift, but has no business teaching or correcting a lift, just because somebody is lucky enough to have that strength or they put in the hard work, I, I can respect it, doesn't mean they know what the fuck they are doing when it comes to exercise form. And trust me, I've seen this over and over and over again. I've spent my life working with lifters, top name lifters, and just average gym lifters. I've had people come train with me that are very strong, but don't have the first clue how to set up in a lift. They have that They've put in a lot of hard work, and I respect that completely, but they haven't put in as much hard work understanding form. Now, that's okay. There's a difference between the person who has built a lot of strength and is still working on form and the person that's able to execute strength and thinks he's an expert just because he's able to pull a big lift or bench a big lift or squat a big lift. Just know the difference. The guy that's able to execute and thinks he's a form expert that is an internet social media asshole. He has no clue what he's talking about, and it becomes very apparent. Now, let's talk about the other form of cancer in the fitness lifting community. It is the guy that, similar to our strength training, is able to look lean and ripped, not particularly super big, right? But he's able to have a lean-ish state. And all of a sudden, because he's able to be leanish, because he's either had really good genetics or he's able to stick to a diet, all of a sudden he's an expert on everything. And you see this cancer all over social media. Just because this guy looks good, all of a sudden it makes him an expert at everything. And it's a joke. It's a huge, huge joke. I see it every single day. 
some guy will he will flash his golden pectacles, and all of a sudden he's a squat expert. All of a sudden he's a deadlift expert. All of a sudden he's a nutrition expert. Now, I respect people that can stick with a good, clean, healthy eating lifestyle. I respect people that can have a discipline in the gym. Again, just like our strength example, there's a difference between somebody doing that and staying in their lane, you know, knowing that they aren't an expert in everything. And these assholes that get on social media and just because they have 15 and a half inch arms and no body fat, all of a sudden they think they know fucking everything. That, my friends, is an internet social media asshole. You need to know the difference. You need to know the difference. Because at the end of the day, these types of individuals confuse the conversations. They confuse people with bad nutrition advice. They confuse people with bad form advice. Or they just try to bully people with their ego saying, if you look like me or you lift like me, if you don't look like me, if you don't lift like me, you don't have you don't deserve to have a say. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.